Welcome to BrickArtisan.com. The finest art, architectural gauged brickwork. The timeless fine art of brick carving and brick sculpture. The richness of the skills of the unknown craftsmen of the past. The stock and trade of the gauged bricklayer and brick carver showcased. The art of drawing and lettering. The discipline of true to scale draftsmanship and the art of drawing intricate details. The general principles of an arch. An arch that is perfectly equal may be considered as a slightly elastic curved beam, and when loaded, every part of it is in a state of compression. The arch that the bricklayer has to deal with is a quantity of bricks so arranged that they may, by their pressure upon one another, not only support their own weight, but transmit any weight that may be placed on them to the abutments. Therefore, all bricks should be of such a shape that they should bed with a perfectly equal bed joint, one against the other, and at the same time carry an equal curve to fit the centre upon which the arch is turned throughout the whole span. And by each joint cutting in a line to the point or centre from which the arch is struck, each brick will be in the form of a wedge called a vissoise. Worshipful company, the Guild of Bricklayers, and the legacy of bricklayers of the past honoured. The apprenticeship system, set by statute, allowed masters to take apprentices for periods of instruction of seven to eight years. Having sought out a suitable master, the parents of an intended apprentice paid an apprenticeship premium, were issued with an indenture, setting out the conditions of training, and the boy or girl moved into the family circle. It was hoped that, during their seven years of training, they would not only be taught their master's trade, but be set an example of good workmanship. They assisted on commissions, and, as they progressed in ability and knowledge in the several branches of their mystery, they were entrusted with more specialised tasks. Many were allowed to measure work, make out accounts, and sign receipts against payments made through them from patrons to their masters. The finest beautiful brick illustrations ever recorded. Architectural Masterpieces <laughs> Architectural photography assists in future generations being able to study the original features of the building and its graceful architecture. The only word is passion. You need passion for it. The other thing is when you, when you leave university, you're on a high and you tend to crash in, into the world or post-university. And at that point, you need to remember always why you went to university, why you worked hard, why you studied. And that's because you have a passion for whatever your course was and you need to stick to that. The wonderful traditional principal specialised tools of the bricklayer and brick sculptor. Tuck pointing and other traditional specialist tools showcased. Architectural photography of tuck pointing of 10 Downing Street. Laying on the fine stuff. Tuck pointing. Tuck pointing came in at about the 17th century with the refining of brickwork. It displays a concealed charm to dignified premises of an architectural fashion. It is the most difficult and important of brick pointing because it requires the most skill, not least because you are continually going back over the area to be pointed, requiring all of the bricky skill knowledge, 
tidiness and concentration. Being not only desirable, but essential, therefore, it is expensive in labour costs to go over the same area. It is important not only in the different methods of preparing and using the material, but also in preparing the work. The Classes and Science of Lime Truly a repository of essential knowledge of traditional fine bricklaying, brick sculpture and traditional brick architecture. For a most enthralling perspective of the art of the brick artisan, order your ebook now at brickartisan.com. The world's first comprehensive architectural gauge brickwork, the timeless fine art of brick carving and brick sculpture. Truly the architectural gift, brought to you by John Lavignier. Thank <laughs> you.